and I hope you're having a great day so far. And um, I am going to kick it in this video all about some restocked items that I can order all of the time. It's no brainer. And if you can get them on sale, you just stock up even more. So those are some of the things that I got in this week. But before I show you what those few things are, I am going to show you on a couple of videos ago, I shared with you a picture that Zara's had a new version of this one that was short sleeve that you could order now. And I said, what the heck? I told you guys to order it. So I ordered it for myself. Here it is. It's that black long one. And I'm gonna show you the tag real fast. Let's see, here it is. So this is the tag. I'm actually gonna try it on for you now, just to kind of give you an idea what it looks like. So for me, I don't feel comfortable wearing this by itself. I'm a little shy when it comes to that. So that's why most of the time my clothes are loose fitting. That's just more comfortable for me. So, but anyway, I do like this dress a lot. My only thing for me is obviously I would be wearing a shirt on top of it or a jacket on top of it or something like that. Um, but I, or a sweater, cute crop sweater would be really cute. With. But I think for $35, I think it is really a nice dress to have. Okay. So how's everything going with you guys so far? I mean, really, it's been, it's definitely been an adjustment for everybody. And I think we're all doing the, the best that we can and we're finding ways to keep being positive and I think just from all the wonderful videos I'm seeing with people sharing different things that they're doing um, of accomplishments and changing over the clothes and doing the cooking stuff, which I love um, because I'm definitely a recipe kind of gal. So if someone shows me how to do it, I'm definitely able to do it. I hope everyone's watching is doing well. But anyway, I am going to share with you what put a smile on my face this past week. So you saw the dress, which I'm loving. My favorite cotton pads that I use for my face is by Chanel. I used to use the ones by Shiseido, which I really like too. Can't go wrong with those really nice soft cotton. Yes, can we use regular cotton pads? Really, Jackie? Yes, you can use regular cotton pads. But it's just something about the um the shishado ones and the chanel ones they're both like square and the cotton is really soft it's not too um scratchy and harsh on your face and it just feels really good just to have them on my counter so when i'm reaching for a cotton pad it's just just a little extra something but anyways i'm going to show you my favorite ones recently still if i can get this box open it does come pretty wrapped just for cotton pads it gives you a cover and it's still wrapped in another box so they definitely do a good job with the packaging even if it's just for cotton pads so I almost have it I almost have it It's not about how much things cost you guys, right? It's all about, it's the little things that make us happy. And that's what this is about. The little things that I got delivered today that uh, this week that definitely just put the smile on my face. So, and getting these guys are good because I can't go in the store to buy them. So I was happy to find them online. I think I ended up finding them at uh, Nordstrom's is where I think they found them because other, other sites were sold out of them, so. They're just regular, a whole box of them. And they have the little C's on them. So it's so cute. I wanna say also the little difference between the Shiseido and the Chanel ones is these are a tad bit bigger. So sometimes I was using two of the pads for Shiseido because they're a little smaller and the Chanel one's a little bigger. So I find myself definitely on, only having to use one for my face like at night or in a day when I'm using my astringent. I'm able to just use one and uh, and it works out just fine. So anyway, so this has been my go-to and it costs maybe just a couple dollars more than the Shiseido ones, but I figure I justify it because that they're bigger and I'm only using one instead of using two. So that is it and here is the box.
the cotton pads. So that is the one thing that I got. Oh, the second thing. The first was the dress. The, my other favorite go-to is, you guys know I'm a bath person that I take baths every day. And so when it comes to bubble bath, I am definitely a connoisseur. And still my go-to, no matter how many bubble baths I have tried, doesn't matter what the cost is, one of my favorites still is by Kiehl's. They currently only make about four different scents of the body wash. It's really, it's really called body wash because they don't have any designated bubble baths, but the uh, coriander, grapefruit, and then they have one more if you want more of like a oud fragrance smelling, and that one is called Parhum. It's great for sensitive skin, gives you good bubbles, and it smells good too, so. Definitely a winner of that one if you're looking to try a new bubble bath. Another cosmetic one that is my go-to for probably about a year and a half, almost two years now, is my mascara. And the mascara I use is by Hourglass. And you guys have heard me talk about this brand before because I have a few lipsticks by them, a foundation by them. I have a few things by them. But I think the uh, the mascara has definitely been a winner for me. If you are like my my eyelashes, I don't know. I think I have average eyelashes. They aren't long. They're like an average length. Um, they aren't thick. They're like a medium thickness. But for me, it gives me a little length. I feel and just a little fullness. So I feel that if you have sensitive skin that you should be fine with it. Or if you have sensitive eyes, you should be fine with it too. I have two more things I wanna share with you. Here is something else that's been putting a smile on my face for the last couple of weeks. And that is I wanna share with you guys some uh, TV shows that I've been watching lately. So here is the one called Cherish Today. It's, it's a new show i think on the own station yes on the own station it's the first season of it so the season just ended so there's only i think like eight episodes but it's a really cute love story and you're gonna be like no she didn't or no he didn't so it's like one of those and then but you feel the love you feel the passion and you're just waiting to see what possibly is going to happen next. So it's a really cute love story series and I'm waiting for the new one to start. But the other two shows I want to share with you, you're probably going to find them on demand or Netflix. Here is the one called Grace and Frankie, which will make you laugh. You know, does anybody else love, um, like Curb Your Enthusiasm and Larry David? So I've always loved that show. I don't know if anybody else does. And so that's what like um, Grace and Frankie will like will remind you of. And even the next one, which is called um, Shit's Creek. So it's like that type of humor. You know, if we're looking to sort of escape from the news a little bit and you want to take a break from it and you want to smile, I definitely think one of these shows will definitely interest you and make you do that. So if I could put a smile on your face and give you a little break, I'm hoping that one of these shows do that if you're not familiar with any of these shows yet. So, and that is what I wanted to share with you that made me smile this week. And the last thing I'm gonna do with you guys, you know when I've been doing my favorite videos and, and you know showing what my favorite is, I've been including a food item lately so i'm going to keep up that theme so the last thing i want to share with you is a recipe for cookies and actually if you let me go grab it be right back hold on okay i have it so you already i already told you earlier that i love making things when i have a recipe for it and my other thing that i love to eat i'm a big snacker i'm a big dessert person so if anyone has like homemade desserts all day long that's me so and one of the things that i love to make though is chocolate chip cookies if you have been to have the current oprah magazine that just came out a couple of weeks ago it's the um probably the 
April. It's the April edition of Oprah Magazine. And so that's the recipe in the back for the chocolate chip cookies. So that's actually what I'm going to take you to do with me. And then we're going to see how it turns out. So I'm excited. I'm sure they're going to be great. And let's go give them a try. Come on, let's go. I have all of the ingredients here. And here's what I'm going to do. If you are making this recipe from her magazine, at the bottom, it says smart, it's, oh, it says um, the fast smart cookie. So here's the thing. I wasn't really good at this growing up. If my mother is watching this, she'll probably tell you I was really bad. When we didn't have ingredients at the house and my mom was like, oh, you can substitute for this. I'm like, no, we can't substitute. That would drive my mom crazy. Mom, now I get it. I apologize because that's what I'm about to do, mom. I'm about to substitute. So I'm actually going to substitute for things I already have in my pantry and I, I don't want to buy something that I don't have. There's only one thing I did buy that I don't have, but I'm going to share with you. So what I did was it called for the top version called for, um, dark chocolate and going to the store and buying the different percentage of the 70%, 70%, 60%. I don't have all that stuff. And I actually don't really like dark chocolate. So I did go to the store to buy one thing though, as a compromise. So I got the lesser strength of the dark chocolate and it has sea salt. So I do like um, chocolate that has the sea salt in it. But so that was my one compromise. But the other things I'm definitely substituting for, such as I didn't get the other dark chocolate that they wanted. So I'm substituting with chocolate chips. The other thing it called for was um, hazelnuts. I didn't want to buy hazelnuts. I have tons of pecans because I'm always making my sweet pecans. So I'm just going to substitute hazelnuts for the pecans. And I felt like there was something else. I think that was the only substitution. So I'm, I just want to let you guys know, um, you don't have to, it was nice that I thought that was really nice of them to actually include replacement options and not forcing you to use the only products that you may not have in your pantry already. So anyway, so let's go ahead and let's start mixing everything together. I'm just here making some cookies and just gonna put a smile on my face and hopefully I'll put a smile on my husband's face uh, when he gets home and I'll have the cookies and I'm actually gonna make um, a really uh, I'm gonna actually make a meal that he requested of me the other day um, but he actually forgot it's my favorite meal ever so it's actually a win-win um, which is mashed potatoes meatloaf and string beans or we'll do spinach because that's his favorite but um, so we'll have the cookies for dessert and the the meal but while I was preparing and putting everything in the bowl from you guys I just got two quick Texas and I thought it was really nice one was to thank me for um, support that I had given a couple organizations in ways that I'm able to help I, I'm finding ways and um, and I know you guys are doing your best to figure out how we can help different people, if we're donating something, if we're giving them something, if we're donating our clothes that we're transitioning over from, anything we can think of, definitely share some of the things that you found that you've been able to do that you pray has put a smile on someone else. And I know the Salvation Army has been doing some commercials to try to ask for blood donations. Have you guys done that since the crisis has started? Has it been an easy process? And where did you actually go to give your blood to the Salvation Army? Like, do you have to set up an appointment? Do you have to fill out an online form? I don't know the process. Can anybody share with me what the process is like to actually give blood? That's something that I think I would like to not think. Let me take the word think out of it. That is something that I know I want to do and I plan on doing it. I was just wondering how easy the process is because I've never done that before. It'd be a big help for others watching and definitely for me because I definitely will do that and uh, I appreciate your support with that and whatever that is that would make a smile on your face during this time just 
keep doing it. And so for me, it will be finishing these cookies, so which I cannot wait to try. So let me finish putting everything together. And I think that's it. And then I'm gonna blend, okay. final result. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Yes, I did make them smaller. So now I see why they said, okay, now that I've showed you what they look like, I'm going to tell you. Here's what I think. So now I understand why they said make them in a three tablespoon size small ball because I thought, oh, it's going to be a ginormous cookie. It's not. I can see now that it, it um, actually cooks down to smaller actually what I thought it was going to be so it really doesn't spread out anymore that much the other thing was I don't know my oven was smoking a little bit and I don't know what it had to do with the parchment paper I don't know what the chalk dark chocolate I'm not used to I don't know but nothing was burning and then um what was the other thing I was going to tell you they actually never like melted down into the shape of a cookie. So two minutes ago, I took them out of the oven and just took the spoon and, and just sort of mashed them down because I didn't want to overcook them and I didn't want to burn them. It tastes like a, um, I know this is stupid to say, but it tastes like a, um, a, a slight bit healthier version of a chocolate chip cookie because it's really not oily it's not too buttery so there's nothing left no residue on your fingers and it's almost like a dry formula when you're eating it which is a good thing i'm going to do the second batch around i'm going to make them bigger and i'm going to flatten them out and but i'm going to wait and do that after dinner so they're nice crisp and warm when we take them out of the oven so anyway you guys have a wonderful 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 day um continue to be safe i love you guys so much and as always if you have not joined me please do so before you leave and subscribe right there. I thank you guys so much. Give me the thumbs up and I'll see you soon. Bye and take care, right? Bye-bye.